Hello. Well, hello, happy campers. Today I am taking you to Lion Country Safari in West Palm Beach. I'm riding, 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 riding with my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV. This video is sponsored by Rat Power Bikes. Good morning. Yeah, it's a beautiful day here. Let's unhitch. We are staying at the Lion Country Safari KOA. And as you can see, it has very nice laundry facilities. Very spacious, very clean. And, um, no, you cannot wash your pet here. <laughs> the bathrooms are pretty nice too. And so are the showers. And there's even a pretty nice uh, swimming pool, but I didn't get around to using it this time. We did get to do some grilling and in the morning made café, of course. We've been experiencing some technical difficulties with the main camera, so we're going to Best Buy to get a memory card and see if that's the problem. Well, I came to Best Buy to buy a memory card. Maybe that'll solve our problem. By the way, it's a miracle these people are still in business. The campground has another great perk. You can hear the lions roaring from time to time. We like it here. Let's go to the drive through safari, which is this whole area next to the campground. And I'm thinking, where are the animals at this time? Shouldn't we be seeing some from the air? Guess uh, what else broke on this trip? Yeah, but we made it work. Let's go into the safari. The first area is called Las Pampas, named after the South American grasslands, and here they have the Aldabra tortoise. It is the largest species of land turtle in the world, originally from Aldabra, which is this very large coral atoll, just north of Madagascar. This curious fellow uh, crossing the street is a Brazilian tapir, and they look like wild boars with an elephant-like uh, trunk, you know, very short in the front. And it wouldn't be Las Pampas without some alpacas. I don't know who this guy is, but these two are rias. They are like small ostriches. Here by the pond, there are the brown pelicans. And I have no idea who these guys are. Next, we go into the Ruaha National Park and we are greeted by a greater kudu, which is a species of antelope and an ostrich. There are also impala and other species of antelope. In the Kalahari Bushveld, we are greeted by ostriches. And the Schmitter oryx, which are now sadly extinct in the wild. Some long horns on their heads. And here's again our friend the ostrich. We'll see more of them, many more. Too heavy to fly, it is the world's tallest bird. And this looked like a wildebeest, also known as a gnu. No, 
now the piece de resistance. Here in the Gorongosa Reserve, we have the king of the jungle, the African lion. Although they don't really live in the jungle, they live in the savannas of Africa. And here they are, just being lazy. Some of the females are eating. Just like a big cat. An anhinga. And this is called a kulan or Asian wild ass. And these are black buck, a species of Indian antelope. Everybody decided to cross the street at the same time. The Asiatic water buffalo. And yeah, they keep crossing. These are such magnificent creatures. Yep, it's a traffic jam. Well, we are certainly not done yet, because when we return in 30 seconds, we will continue exploring the Serengeti Plains, another explosion of wildlife here. Uh, but now, a word from our sponsor. Rad Power Bikes is an electric bike manufacturer offering direct-to-consumer pricing on powerful premium electric bikes. Because they sell directly to you, the consumer, you won't see the large retail markup that would be present if you were buying from a third party or a dealer, ensuring you're always getting a performance e-bike at a fraction of the cost. Visit www.radpowerbikes.com or call 1-800-939-0310 to learn more about their models or to place an order. Now offering free shipping on all four models. Three words. Southern White Rhinoceros. Wild Beast. Scimitar Oryx. And... Ostriches. Hello there. The common waterbuck, another antelope.
time for a close encounter with the ostriches. Hey, I think they are so funny. Can you see him through the glass? Well, we are next. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a rhinoceros I see? And zebra? Hmm. Uh -uh. Hmm. A little too close, don't you think? Let's go see the monkeys and the apes. Well, this guy looks like he's having a swell time. The chimpanzees, however, are having a lazy day. The ladder we go. Towards the end of the safari, we see giraffes. This one right here looks like he's eating in slow motion. Are they perhaps mistaken the truck for a zebra? Hmm. Well, how did you all like that? I personally felt like I was on safari on a faraway land, especially towards the end. But what do you know, one of our tanks has been out of propane for a while and we don't want to be completely out, so before we go, it is as good time as ever to fill up one of our propane tanks. Campground is usually not the cheapest, but they are convenient. Okay, let me, show, let me show you how this works. So the way it works, I have uh, this uh, switch here, the one that is a supply to, to whichever uh, this uh, knob is pointing to, that's, that's the tank that is providing the supply of propane. So while this one is supplying the propane, I can change this one with no problem. So that's how this uh, dual uh, propane tank system works. Very convenient. Let's get out of here. All good things come to an end. But before you go, if you liked it, do me a solid and give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, remember to subscribe if you haven't and check out my other videos. 
You can also visit the blog at travelingrobert.com, join the mailing list and follow me on social media at Traveling Robert. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road. Riding with my RV